In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 places to visit in South Korea. So, before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. South Korea occupies half the Korean Peninsula. South Korea is modern, exciting, and independent from North Korea. Seoul has great nightlife and the latest technology. South Korea has many beautiful national parks and places to relax. South Korea has plenty to see and do, from islands off the coast to the dangerous border zone in the middle of the Korean Peninsula. Number 10. Suwon. Jeonggi Province's capital, Suwon, is located about 30 kilometers from Seoul. It is conveniently reachable from Seoul by vehicle or train, yet tourists frequently ignore it. When you are there, you may see the World Cup Stadium, often known as Big Bird, which served as the site of the 2002 FIFA World Cup quarterfinals. If you don't like soccer, go visit the old Weizong Fortress instead, where you can tour the buildings and even practice archery on the grounds. Number 9. Chuncheon is the capital of Kangwon Province, surrounded by picturesque lakes and majestic mountains. Many tourists flock to Chuncheon to witness some of the most frequented filming locations for the popular Korean serial drama Winter Sonata. Because Chuncheon is regarded as a foodie's paradise, other tourists come for the food. Head to DeKalbi Street after visiting important sites like the Soyang Dam, Statue Park, or Chongpyongsa Temple. DeKalbi a grilled chicken dinner with spicily spiced veggies and rice is a specialty of this street. The same famous dish is served at dozens of establishments along the street, each with a small modification in the recipe. Number 8. Busan. Busan is the second largest metropolis in the entire nation. In addition to being a significant port, it is renowned for having stunning beaches, hot springs, and outdoor recreation options. Gamchen Cultural Village in Busan, sometimes known as the Santorini of Korea, is a breathtakingly colored hillside neighborhood with a view of the lake. You will also visit several temples while in Busan, the most well-known of which is Biomiosa Temple, Houndi Beach, Taejongdi Park, and the stunning Nakdong River Estuary Migratory Bird Sanctuary are some of the most well-known attractions in the city, which also offers all the shopping and museums you might anticipate from a metropolis of its size. Number 7. Jeonju. Jeonju served as the spiritual center of the Joseon dynasty at its height. Jeonju is one of the best tourist destinations in South Korea today because of its abundance of temples and museums. Go to the Jeonju Hanuk village if you wish to appreciate the local culture and learn about its history. There, you can observe early 20th century traditional dwellings, make traditional hanji paper, or consume locally produced soju. The spectacular Jeonju National Museum, which houses an astounding collection of relics, is another well-liked destination in the city. Try the bibimbap, a well-known Korean meal that originated in Jeonju, while you are there. Number 6. Siaraksan National Park. Visit the Siaraksan National Park if you want to go hiking, see the most well-known mountain range in South Korea, or just take some amazing pictures. The park is home to pine forests craggy mountain summits, glistening streams, and breathtaking lakes. More than 2,000 different animal species can be found in Siaraksan National Park. You can obtain free maps in both English and Korean at the National Park Visitor Center, where your visit should begin. Then, take advantage of the many miles of hiking routes that are marked with signs and crisscross the entire park. Well, do you like what you are seeing so far? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep watching because you don't want to miss what we have at the number one spot. Number 5. Anong. Anong is commonly referred to as the capital city of Korean spiritual culture because of its age of more than 2,000 years. The Anong Haho Folk Village, where local traditional heritage has been conserved and is shared with visitors, may be the city's main draw. The people who will appreciate visiting Anong the most are foodies, nevertheless. The city is home to a variety of regional specialties, starting with the well-known Jimdak chicken and noodle dish. Have a sip of soju, a unique brand of alcohol produced in Anong before you leave the city. Number 4. Jeju Island. The only special autonomous province in South Korea is Jeju Island, which is located off its southern coast. 
Jeju, sometimes known as the Island of the Gods, is a subtropical location popular with honeymooners and tourists in South Korea. Jeju is home to numerous tourist destinations, amusement parks, and stunning beaches in addition to lava tubes, rich vegetation, and lovely beaches. At the Sanjup Folklore Village, visitors can learn about the local way of life, or you can go to Glass Castle, a theme park built on glass sculptures. Loveland, a theme park with romantic and adult-only attractions, is possibly the strangest and most contentious attraction in Jeju. Number 3. DMZ. The border between North and South Korea is called the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ. It is regarded as a ceasefire area. The DMZ is open to visitors, however not all its territory is secure. The Joint Security Area, often known as the JSA, is the only area of the DMZ that is accessible to the public. Although you will be within a structure that also houses South Korean soldiers, you can stand in North Korea in the JSA. You can also go to a store that sells souvenirs from North Korea, including wine, stamps, and money. Be advised that you can only visit the DMZ on an official, escorted trip. Number 2. Jeonju. The ancient capital of the region that was formerly known as the Silla Kingdom is Jeonju. Given this information, the age of the city is greater than 2,000 years. The city of Jeonju is an amazing travel destination that is home to a number of temples as well as cultural events. Your journey should begin at the Bulguksa Temple, which is known as a magnificent masterpiece of Buddhist art and religion and dates back to the 8th century. After that, make your way up the hill from the temple to the Sukhagurum Grotto, where you can see even more Buddhist items and culture. Don't miss out on the opportunity to shop in the covered market, which features a variety of sellers selling everything from mementos of Silla to freshly prepared Korean specialties. Number 1. Seoul. The largest city in South Korea and a popular travel destination in East Asia is Seoul. There is a considerable probability that you will visit Seoul at some point if you are traveling throughout the nation. There are countless things to do in the city, but many tourists start with one of the numerous palaces that are in Seoul. The magnificent Gyeongbok Gung and the Changdeok Gung from the 15th century are top choices. There are also historic temples and shrines, lovely parks, cutting-edge architecture, shopping centers, and some of Asia's top restaurants. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear from us again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.